All right, let's have a go at this one. So we're going to find the normal for the equation half x squared plus 3x equals 7 at the point where the normal crosses at the y-axis. Okay. Well, this is a positive quadratic. Now, if it crosses at the y at the x at the y-axis, sorry. Okay. So that would mean right there. True, because it has to be on the y-axis. Okay. And a tangent would look like this. But we're going to find the equation of the normal, which is at 90 degrees too. So it's got to look something like that. So that's the idea. So it has to be on the y-axis. All right. So is it fair enough that we need this coordinate? Mm -hmm. And what do we know about this coordinate? It's 0, negative 7. It's 0, negative 7? Mm -hmm. True. X is definitely 0. And when that's 0, that's 0, then that's right. The y value is, is 7. Sorry, negative 7. Yeah. Very good. So we'll say the y-intercept is 0, negative 7. And now that we have a coordinate, we can start to solve the gradient of the tangent and the gradient of the, of the normal. Okay, so let's do that. What's the derivative? 1x mm -hmm. plus 3. Good, x plus 3. That's right. So we want to know what the gradient of the tangent is. So gradient of the tangent is happens at uh, when x is when x is when x is zero. That's right. So zero plus three, which is three. What is the gradient of the normal going to be if the gradient of the tangent is three? Negative 1 over 3. That's right, it's negative 1 over 3. Now, do we know why that is? Should I explain it? Yes, please. Okay. Let's say I've got a grid, a square grid, and let's say that um, my first coordinate's at the origin and my next coordinate's at 4, 1. Okay, so my rise is 1, my run is 4. Like so. Okay. Now, if I was to take this coordinate and rotate it clockwise, 90 degrees, all right, so it's now rotating this way, 90 degrees, it's going to end up somewhere around here, isn't it? And if I rotate it another further 90, it would end up somewhere around here. And then rotate another 90 degrees, it would end up somewhere around here. Do we all agree? Can you see that? Okay. So what's happening? Um, we went up one across four. To get to this one, we go to the right one down four. When to get to this one, we go down one to the left four. Mm -hmm. And to get to that one, we go to the left one and up four. True? Makes sense. So if we are now looking for a 90 degrees um, normal, it's going to look like that. Yeah, 90 degrees to this line. So, instead of going up one across four, we go right one down four. Yeah? So the equation of the, the past equation of the tangent, the gradient of the normal, was instead of going up one, we're actually going to go down four and to the right one. Essentially, it's always, if that's positive, this one's always negative, and you just flip over the, the fraction. And okay, it's negative reciprocal, and that's a rule. It'll always work out that way. And there's another property that says, if you multiply the tangent to the normal, you will always, always get Negative, negative one. one. Okay, and that's a rule as well. Okay. Coming back to this then, so how did I get from there to here? Well, if that's positive, this one has to be negative. 
If this is 3 over 1, this is 1 over 3. Okay, that's the rule. So, we have the coordinate, we have the gradient. We're ready now to solve the equation, which starts off with m times x minus x1 plus y1. m is negative 1 third. x1 is 0. And y1 is negative 7. So, we're done now. Negative one third x minus seven. That's it? Yeah. Mm -hmm.